Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me in this Zoom meeting episode. Let me begin by saying that I recommend keeping Zoom meetings pretty structured. This will keep things calm and organized. I learned that if you're not careful and you don't set up the proper Zoom meeting options, then things can go bad pretty quickly. Watch for my tutorial on setting the right options for Zoom meetings with students. I made this presentation with Google Slides. And I'll select Share Screen a couple minutes before the scheduled meeting time. And I'll share the first slide. During these couple minutes, I'll have my audio on mute. So the students who join the meeting can see this part of the presentation without hearing me. I will bring participants in from the waiting room and I will have pre-selected to have both their video off and their audio off. Show the second Google slide a minute before you plan to start the class. Five seconds before the start of the class, show the next few slides to show the countdown. Then I'll start my audio and begin the Zoom meeting with my students. Welcome to today's lesson, 6th grade illustrative math, unit 7, lesson 5. Using negative numbers to make sense of contexts. Let's start by playing a warm-up game called Notice Wonder. Take a moment to wonder about something that you notice shown in this chart. It's time to share what you noticed and wondered about. To raise your hand, click on the icon labeled Participants at the bottom center of your PC or Mac screen. At the bottom of the window on the right side of the screen, click the button labeled Raise Hand. Your digital hand is now raised. This is where I pause for responses. I call on a student to share their response. I'll be sure to unmute that student during their response and then mute them again when they're done. I'll repeat this with other students if it's necessary. Even though the students can unmute themselves, I'll continue muting all the students until it becomes routine. Here's what I wondered. Doing my chores means that I earned $30. Babysitting my cousin means that I earned $45. Buying my lunch means that I spent $10.80. And I would continue till I was done with this slide. Now it's time for sell or spend. Take a moment to decide which values in dollars represents a sell or a spend. It's time to share. Raise your hand. Click on the icon labeled participants at the bottom of your screen. At the bottom right side, click the button labeled raise hand. Your digital hand is now raised. This is where I pause and look for hands that are raised and I'll call on students to share. Remember, I unmute that student, let them share, and then I mute them again after they share. I call on another student and repeat the process if necessary. Here's what I thought. I think 58 donuts were sold, earning $37.70. I will continue until done with this slide. It's time for Q&A. Now raise your hand if you have a question. Remember how we raised our hand earlier by clicking the icon. This is where I pause and take a moment to answer a couple questions if the students have any questions. Now let's start the practice lesson for Unit 7, Lesson 5. Write a positive or negative number to represent each change in the high temperature. We will do the first one together right now. A. Today's high temperature was 4 degrees less than Monday's high temperature. What would represent 4 degrees lower than? Would it be positive 4 or negative 4? It's time for you to share your answer. So if you remember how to raise your hand and you think you know the answer, go ahead and raise your hand now. This is where I pause and call on a student. Remember, unmute the student, let that student respond, and then mute them again. And repeat this process as necessary. 
The answer I came up with is negative four because less than means negative. You may finish the rest of this lesson on your own. Class is officially over. If you have more questions for me, then you may stay. See you all next time. If multiple students stay, put them in the Zoom waiting room and then bring them in one at a time. Like I said in the intro, I recommend keeping the Zoom meetings pretty structured to help keep things calm and organized. But if you're not careful and if you don't set up the proper Zoom meeting options, then things can go pretty bad pretty quick. Watch for my tutorial on setting the right options for Zoom meetings with students. Thanks for watching and please share this video with your colleagues. Good luck.